Good evening. I'm Stacy Scheibel. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. First up tonight, thieves and troublemakers up to no good. They're trying to break into people's homes and cars in a St. Petersburg neighborhood. Paul Mueller has been talking with those neighbors all about this, and it sounds like, Paul, these folks have had enough. They certainly have, and the problem is so bad here, Keith, that the city has actually put up signs warning the people who live here in the Riviera Bay section of the city. Go ahead and, head and take a look right there. After it says, beware of burglars, it says, lock your car. It is bold, brash, brazen, a carefully choreographed crime in progress. In less than 30 seconds, these teens fanning out into the neighborhood, jimmying car and house doors. Then they're gone. Every time you hear a noise, you you wake up and go to the window and see what's going on. So everyone's in high alert in this neighborhood. These teenage hooligans and their criminal shenanigans. In this video, fewer crooks, but same mission, trying to break into cars, in this case, coming up empty. Darlene Limtiaco locked her doors so nothing got stolen, except her sense of security. It, it was unnerving, and you you do feel violated and uh, they're that close to your front door. It makes me angry. Rick Ryder forgot to lock his car. Lucky for him, he didn't leave anything valuable inside. You know, I feel violated. I feel like uh, I, need to, I need to do something to protect my, not just my family, uh, but also the, the investment I've made in this property. Using cameras, motion sensors, and social media, all in an effort to take these teens off their streets and not feeling like prisoners in their own neighborhood. And neighbors know, indeed, there is strength in numbers. That's why they've created a crime watch in the last couple of days. So far, at last check tonight, 18 volunteers and counting, Keith. And, Paula, sounds like these are opportunistic criminals just looking for the easy pickings. What do police say about this? That's right. Police are investigating. Well, at the same time, the people who live here, they are on the ground, and they call it a crime of opportunity. The crooks come here, they get what they want, and leave. And the thing is, I can see it from where I am right now. There's a lot of easy access to 4th Street North and then I-275. All right. Paul Mueller, live in St. Petersburg. Thank you.